Hi, in this video we're going to show how to enable traffic analysis on a device that supports NetFlow, SFlow, JFlow, and our own proprietary PTFlow. There are some prerequisites that are going to be needed for this to work. The first is a read-write credential for the router that must be supplied for either SNMP or Telnet. The second prerequisite is that UDP port 69 must be open on the machine running this software. The third prerequisite is that the router must have an open route on UDP port 69 from the router to the machine running the host server. So that being said, we'll go ahead and get started here. And you can see here that I've got a Cisco 2801 device here that's discovered and it is relaying data. So that tells me that we are get capturing statistics and that we can enable traffic analysis on this device. I have already verified that this 2801 Cisco router does in fact support NetFlow. So that is the first step. Second step would be to check the credentials on the device to verify that they do have read-write access. I have already verified this, but just to make sure, I'm gonna click on the set credentials to verify the SNTP settings are correct. The next thing we need to do is make sure that it's in a policy that has NetFlow being monitored. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassign this device to the networking policy where I can verify that NetFlow is actually being monitored on this device and will show up if configured correctly. If I right click on the networking policy, I can see that my dot .6 Cisco 2801 has been moved there. If I click on edit and I go to the monitor tab, I can see that NetFlow is already selected so it should be listening for NetFlow. The next thing that we have to do is to enable traffic analysis on the device itself. The way we do that is we right click on the device, we want to go to wizards and enable traffic analysis. The only option that we'll have here is enable NetFlow or SFlow. The JFlow instructions are here as well if you need them. We're going to go ahead and click on next and I can see that the credential that I've assigned this device is showing up in the drop down. If I do by chance need another credential or need to assign the appropriate credential, all I need to do is click on this manage credential option and click on new and assign it the credentials that I need via Telnet or SNMP. From this point on, I click on get settings and if the credentials are successful, I'm going to get an interface list with two export options to IP addresses in certain ports. This is very important information that I'm about to go over for flows to work successfully. You want to make sure that you are exporting NetFlow to the IP address of the agent machine that is monitoring this networking device or router. If you send flows back to the host server agent and that is not the device that is monitoring this router, flows will not work. So once again, please make sure you are sending flows back to the IP address of the agent machine that is monitoring this device. If you have questions about that, one easy way to tell is to go under the agent column under the device view and you can see here on the right hand side it tells me which agent is monitoring this. I have ver already verified that that agent machine is this IP address here and by default we use port 2055 for NetFlow. At this point on, please make sure you click on save settings. If you do not, the settings will not take effect. After this, I'm going to click on OK, and I'm going to click on Next. It's going to ask if I've made this save any changes that I wanted to, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Yes. At this point on, I'm going to click on Finish, and allow the device to update. I'm going to click on the Refresh button up here. I'm also going to run a Go Live on the device to force data coming back so that I can see NetFlow data as soon as possible. Now if I double click on the device and go into device details, if everything has been set up correctly, I should see network traffic flow appear on the device details tab. And from this point on, I can now start to distinguish between applications that are going on on my network, conversations between two different endpoints as well, domain information about where information is going out on my network to the internet and protocol information as well that will let me know which protocols are occupying the most bandwidth on my network as well. 
And that's pretty much NetFlow. Thank you very much.